Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing my favorite mod menu, Bark Mod Menu. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get Bark Mod Menu, and I'm gonna um like showcase Bark Mod Menu right now. Okay, so and today I'm joined with my friend Husky GT. Come on, Husky GT. Hey, we have Husky GT. Okay, so I'm going to show how to get Bark Mod Menu. I'm gonna show you how to use Bark Mod Menu in the showcase. And a couple other tips. If none of this works for you, you have any other questions, join my Discord server. It's in my bio, and just ask me whatever you need okay or just dm me if i'm not answering so yeah let's get right into the video okay so um i think we're gonna go over here i'm gonna put you guys in the first person so basically i'm just gonna show you guys all the bark okay when you hold a bark it spawns in front of you and to get bark you have to hit your stomach like a monkey okay when you, you can click this button to hold bark whenever you click on a mod it gives you a description of the mod so you know how to use it and you just kind of let go and it falls through and it comes back up so the very first mod we have airplane <clears throat> and basically when you put your arms really far out wherever your thumbs are pointing that's where it goes so if they're pointing up well, <laughs> i'll go up if, you, if they're pointing forward i'll go forward see put my arms out oh, put my arms out i'm going up see thumbs wherever i tell my thumbs that's where i'm going really fun mod to use really easy to use okay next mod i think is underrated bubble so bubble here all you're gonna do is it's gonna create this bubble around you and wherever you hit you go in that direction so look if i start to hit up here i'm up at the tutorial height but if i hit down there i can go right back down to where husky is hello husky oh my god <laughs> yeah i think it's a pretty underrated mod really fun to use next up fly simple fly this joystick goes up and down these go left and right so if you get good at it you can kind of just start flying around trolling people Probably the easiest mod once you get it to go up to the tutorial. Uh, just like that. You can still hit the floor, but it won't do much. <laughs> since you can fly. Um, and when you turn this mod off when you're in the air, it'll just kind of fall back down. Um, next up, we have Grappling Hooks, one of my favorite mods. It's one of these two bananas on your waist. You're going to grab onto them, and it's going to have these yellow lines. And wherever these yellow lines are, you're going to click the stop trigger, and you're like, latch onto it. It's like Spider Monkey. It's really cool, really fun to do, and once you get good at them, you can like start going like up to tutorial with them. It's really fun, and yeah, the range isn't the best, but it's just fun to mess around with. You can tell people you're Spider Man, and just be like, "I'm Spider Man, and duty calls." <laughs> I don't know. Once you get w w good with them, you can come up to tutorial just like that. Oh, uh, but it's honestly just a matter of practicing, getting good with them. But yeah, next up, platforms. Very simple. When you click this trigger creates a platform i like the cloud design you can just kind of go up it's normal platforms and if you hold this button down the platform will stay there same for the other one. Oh wait so you, you can be like guys i don't have platforms psych i actually do have platforms i think it's um really cool you know normal i like the design because usually it's just like yes yes Normal platforms, they're just weird, gray, untextured blocks. I mean, <laughs> I don't find, I, I don't, I don't really like, I, I like the design. And they're, and they're bouncy too. Huh? You do. Like here, it's like, guys, I know how to lose here, guys. <laughs> but, oh uh, yeah, okay. Next one up, we have Nail Gun. Also kind of an underrated one. You click this top trigger and it spawns a nail gun. Wherever you aim it, when you let go, it creates a nail. You can hang on to this nail. When you hang on, you won't fall off of it. So I mean, if you really want to like rock climb or something, I don't really know what you use it before. Use it for. I think it's fun just being like, guys, I can just hang on. It's really fun, I think, personally. Okay. Next up, rockets. Probably one of the mo most useful and OP mods. You click this button, it spawns a rocket in your hand. Wherever they're pointed, that's where you start to go. It's the easiest mod to use. It's the most OP, easiest mod to use. See here, here's the big volcano outside of the map. Oh no, I'm already up here. Like, it's it's so fun to use, yet so easy to use. You just click your trigger and you just go. It's so fun, so versatile. Whenever you hit something, you do lose all momentum. Warning you, but it does also help in first directions. I think you want to like, I don't know. But if you do hit a wall wall this, you won't move, unlike another one, which I'll show you. Speed boost, you can change this in the settings. If you go down here. 
I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Is that 10 right now? If I turn it down to 1, 0. It's like I have like. It's a bit of speed boost, but 10. Watch this. That's a 10 speed boost. <laughs> yes. I, I do I do mess around with this in my streams a lot. It's it's really fun to use. If you don't think, oh, it's not that good of a speed boost. Like, I'm telling you, this is crazy. I think I think I personally think it's crazy. Like I'm not I'm not using stick or anything, and I'm just casually loosening up, loosening up, I don't know. See, I'm like barely even trying. It, it's it's really good for infection codes. You can change that in settings. Next page. We have three page by, by the way. Wall run. Really fun to use. You kind of just stick to the wall. So you can just kind of walk up the wall. Go sideways on the wall. I, I mean, it's like, guys, I can lose you now. And you go up. does not work for red wall. It will later, and I'll show you how. But just general, if you push off and fall down. On, um, this works on trees, and you can also go upside down. So you're like real spider monkey now. Um, but you kind of do just go <laughs> uh, You can do some ghost trolling, I guess. Zipline. I actually, this is probably my least favorite mod. You click, you click this button. Creates this. This giant, like, thing. When you let go, it creates a zipline. And you can go onto the zipline. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I'm not going to use it that much. I can make it hit clouds. Did it hit clouds? No. It, it is possible to make it hit clouds. Yeah, there we go. It <laughs> clouds. So if you're somehow in clouds, you can just zip on all the way back down. I just, it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, just not much you could use for it. I, I just don't really like it, okay? Next, gravity. You can also change this one in the settings, okay? Probably gonna need to have settings open. I'll show you why. The lower the number is, the, like, you know, the, 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 the less of the gravity there is. If I turn it to 10, max gravity. Like, you're not, get, you're not getting up with this. But if I turn it to zero, hit once, and now I'm flying forever. And that's why I told you to have menu out, because you're probably going to need to fall back down. I keep it at um, three. Just like gravity jump, you know. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know bark itself I the gravity equipped. Oh. I think it's I think it's really funny. It's uh, fun to use. Why am I not? Okay, here we go. Um, Next up, no collide. So here's the thing about no collide. It automatically turns on fly, so you can fly around and no clip. I don't really like that. I turn on platforms and turn off fly, so then I can no clip with platforms. For example, I husky. I can, I can just look behind you. I, I, I love, I love trolling with this. You can just go inside a stump. I'm in caves now. I'm not. Now I'm outside a stump. It's really fun to mess around with. And don't worry, don't worry. Watch this. I, I'll have to fix this in a second, but don't worry. Yep, you just spawn right, right back up. See, if you fall under, um, the platform just stays on though. But if I turn no clock, I have the audio glitch. No, I don't. Okay, when you turn it off, you spawn right back where you were when you first turned it on. Next up, no slip. Um, let me turn on wall run to demonstrate this one. It it's um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. You probably already know what it does. But um, see, you can, yeah. But this is what I'm talking about. Now you can just kind of climb up red wall casually. You know, normal red wall. And now I'm outside of the map. <laughs> so yeah, it's really fun with wall run. Next up, potions. Probably one of my favorite ones. The red potion. When you drink it. Kiko! Kiko, give me a second. I'm in the middle of a video, bro. When you drink the red potion, you become bigger. And when you drink this potion. I know. It's, it's just because I'm lucky. When you drink the blue potion, though, give me a second. It's gonna... I think that should keep going. It should keep going. Give me a second. And, yeah. The blue potion makes you smaller. So, can't do much like this. But yeah. All hail giant husky. Must bow down before giant husky. Oh, they're multiplying. They're multiplying. Okay, but when you turn off potion, you'll go back to normal size. If you can't figure out what your normal size is, slippery hands the exact opposite of no slip. You won't slip when your when your body's hitting the floor, but as soon as your hands touch the floor, everything's ice. There's not much you can do with this mod. I mean, like, <laughs> it isn't checkpoint. When I hold this, I create a banana, and wherever I go, husky, can you try to tag me? 
back. It's really fun to mess around with. Uh, I'm the Flash. And you have to click this so it kind of looks messed up. It's like, bro, you think you're the goat? Psych! <laughs> it's really fun to mess around with. Um, You can troll a bunch of people with it. This one of my favorite mods, Pearl. You click this button, it creates a pearl with a little monkey in it. And wherever you throw it, oh, it teleports straight to it. So it's, it's really it's really fun to use. I can just kind of like, oh. I, I don't know, I have this glitch where I can't float before. floor. When I first got the mod, I could. Really fun to mess around with. But yeah, teleport. I create like a little triangle with my hands. And you see that banana inside of that triangle? I teleport to wherever that banana is. So boop, and I'm on the other side of the map. So like, um, boop, I'm on the other side of the map. And if I want to go back to Husky, Husky, look, wait, no, that's Kiko. Now, I'm behind Husky. It's great mod to use. I don't use it enough. Boxing. Um, uh, Husky, why don't you give me a little sucker punch in the face? Oh, you, you hit it. Oh, bro, come on. Oh my god, okay. Put your, put your hand on the floor like this. This is a cool glitch. If you put your hand on the floor like this, do this. Like, levitate it, and then watch this. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool glitch to do with the boxing mod. You can also change the punch um, speed. I have it at 10, so it's, like, really fun. If you run into somebody... If I run into somebody... <laughs> see, it's really fun to mess around with your friends. This is my friend's favorite mod. Come on, bro, take me on. You won't. Oh, my God. It's really fun to mess around. Next mod. I don't know why it won't let me use it. Here we go. Piggyback. Why don't you give me a thumbs up, okay, and I click on that. As long as I'm holding this trigger, I'm on Kiko's back. You see this? It's really fun to mess around with. Only problem is if he goes to a different map, then the map's unloaded. But as soon as I let go, I spawn back to where I was before so I don't fall through the map. Next up, telekinesis. Oh, he already gets it. You, put your, you point your hand at the person, and you make it flat, and then you click down this button, and you can move them around. So, yeah, you make your hand flat. Click down this button and then move around. You have to make sure your hand's flat. Flat hand. And then click down the trigger and then you move me around. There you go. It's hard to get, but once you get it, it's really easy. You can move me around. They can walk around with me. They can do whatever they want. So, I, I okay. Next up, fireflies. I want you guys to go hide. Whenever you click down this trigger, it creates these fireflies. Are there colors around your hand? They start spinning around your hand. Okay. And wherever they go, they'll basically want to let go of the sugar. It'll launch towards them and swirl around their head so I know exactly where they are. For example, Kiko, you're in canyons. Oh, and you're in like caves or something. Um, uh, Husky. So yeah. And now Kiko's coming back and Husky's trying to just and going deeper in caves. See, it, it follows exactly where they are. Okay. And stay there. Now stay stay inside the caves for this um Husky. X-ray, basically the same thing. As you can see, I could see Kiko through my bark mod menu. You can see him through walls. And I can see anybody through walls. It's like fireflies, just more up here. I can see you through my bark mod menu. Let's see. Wherever you go, I know your exact location, guys. You'll never escape from me now. Infinite torture, guys. Really fun. Trust me. It's mod menu. Really fun. You're definitely going to want to get it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say. Join bark code. Uh, guys, be right back. Just kidding. I don't know what's wrong, but the bark codes aren't up. For some reason, they just, they're not up. I don't know if it's, it might just lag, but I, I, I don't think the bark codes are up. So this, this mod, I think, is really fun, guys. You can mess around with it, like, a lot, a lot. It's really fun to mess around with. But I'm going to go to showing you guys how to get this mod right now, okay? So I hope this tutorial, what I'm about to show you, helps you out. If you have any questions, join my Discord, DM me in there. So yeah, about to show you guys how to get it. See you guys. Okay, I showed you guys all the mods. Now I'm going to show you how to download them. So you're going to need a couple things, okay? You're going to need the actual mod files, which I'll show you how to get. You're going to need Monkey Mod Manager, which I'll also show you how to get. But then you're going to need Steam. It's free to download. Just search up Steam Download, okay? Not that hard. And then once you're on Steam, you got to download Grill Tech. Just search up Grill Tech. It is going to cost $20, but uh, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to get it, okay? And then on Steam... You're going to have to have Steam VR. It's also free, so it's not that hard. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say the biggest one. You're going to need PC. Like, I'm on a PC right now. It has to be on a PC. You can't do this on mobile or on a VR. It has to be on a PC because they're just higher-end and they can run a lot easier, okay? Everything else will just crash, okay? 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to get Monkey Mod Manager in the actual files. First, you have to get Monkey Mod Manager. So the first link in the description should have Monkey Mod Manager linked, but it should, when you click on that link, it should take you right here. Once you're on here, okay, scroll down until it says Monkey Mod Manager.exe, right under assets, okay? You're gonna click on that, okay? And you're gonna you can click on whatever you want just download it or click desktop i'm not gonna download it because i already have it downloaded but you're just gonna click download and download it, of course go download click save and it'll download once that's done downloading you either could download it to um your desktop which i recommend um and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna have monkey mod manager okay but you no matter what you do if you open it it's not gonna do anything you need to have the mods first okay so first now i'm gonna show you how to get the mods what you're gonna do is go to the second link in the description, which should bring you to here, okay? You're gonna scroll down under this into assets, which bark 1.51 DLL. Once you click on that, you're gonna also download that to desktop, okay? And then once that's down, download, once that's done downloading, just like the last one, it should just be popped up wherever you know you have it. Once that's done popping up, moving away from Monkey Pond Manager, you're gonna double click on Monkey Pond Manager to open up. Where it says plugins, you're gonna scroll down to the very bottom. Where it says computer interface, you're gonna want to click on that. It's fine if these other like pop up, that's fine. Just click on computer interface and click on Utila. Then you're gonna click install slash update. Okay. Give it a second to update. Perfect. Then you're gonna go to utilities. You're gonna go down to where it says BepinX folder. Click on that. It should open up BepinX. If it doesn't, you have to click on your folder. Where it says plugins down here, you're gonna double click on that to open it. And then you should just take the bark files you have, drag it, and drop them in here. And then boom, you have bark. Simple as that. Just close out the plugins folder, click install and update once you drag and drop it into the back of the next folder. And then close out Monkey Mod Manager. And we're gonna open up Grill Tag. So I'll show you what that's gonna look like in a second. See you guys right there. Hey guys, and now I'm gonna show you the part where I kind of just like show you how to actually get the <laughs> how to actually play Grill Tag once you have that. So once you have all that open, just keep your laptop open for this part. What you're gonna do is come down to quick settings and it should say um your quest link. If it doesn't say that, if it doesn't say that, then um what you're gonna do is go to settings, devices, not devices, I'm stupid, system, quest link. And then where it says it should say launch quest link, click refresh, refreshing, it should say launch, and when it's not launching, so let's come down here and launch. Okay, perfect. So it should take a second to load when you're getting here. Yeah, this is gonna be. Yeah, so you should see this, and it should just kind of pop up, and you should get these like weird hands. If nothing pops up, just click your Oculus button. This should pop up instantly. Okay. So what you're gonna click on your desktop if you kept your laptop open, which you should have, and uh, shouldn't shouldn't say this. Oh yeah, here we go. This is my desktop, as you guys just saw. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is um, open up Steam on that desktop, okay? And here you go. You don't actually usually gonna have that. Um, you're gonna usually just search up a. Usually here to search up. As oh my god, I can't type. Whatever, Steam VR. Uh, St Steam VR should pop up down there. Click on that right here. Just click launch. Okay. If you don't have Steam VR download, download it on Steam. It's free. I don't know why you wouldn't get it. So it should say that, and it should put us into this weird place. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like it though. So it should say Steam Home. Okay. Everything looks a lot different because I've already done this and I've done it a thousand times. So it's gonna look way different to how it actually should for your first time. When you first get in, you should have these weird hands, and there should be a pop-up of a screen. It wouldn't say recent apps, Grill Tag. It'd have a pop-up of a screen right in front of you, and then it says Grill Tag. You're going to click on that, and it should pop up. Uh, on that menu, it should pop up launch. If you have already done this before, it's going to be in recent apps, but usually it should just pop up a screen instantly as soon as you get in, okay? But yeah, it's, it's just going to say probably most recent app, Grill Tag. Just click on that and click launch. Pretty simple. All the games you have on Steam that are available in VR, you can play in Steam VR. Simple as that. So it should just load me into Steam VR, and I should have mods. Oh, here we go. See, I actually have the um, uh, broken computer here. It hurts my eyes, and I can't really do any code now. It's because I added a different DLL 
I, I um, updated the computer interface, and it's gonna do that. I don't recommend this computer interface. I like the normal computer interface, but if you really want that, you can. See, I have Yeezy's camera mod, but uh, let me just uh, I don't know if I can join. I, I honestly don't. Let's see here. I don't know if it'll let me join it. It is a messed up computer thing. It's only for me. It shouldn't do that. Okay, so I'll just go to a public body code. And now, there you go. Simple as that. Go simple as that. He has ball too. Oh, yeah, See? It's okay. simple as that. That's all, that's all you need. Yeah, wait, uh, you it's really easy. Like, okay. like, I swear. It, it, like, it took me a while to actually, like, find a good tutorial. But I think this is a pretty good in-depth tutorial. But like, like I showed you guys, all the mods. So, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Just, um, by the way, if you don't like... If your computer face is glitched like this, I'm going to show you right now how to fix it. Because I don't like that, trust me. You can get a new one, I'll show you how to get a new one and how to fix it right now. Wait, I showed you just actually just happened, where the computer is broken like that. What you're going to do is you're going to um, open up Steam. You're going to go to your library. And where you have real time, you're going to click on it. Okay, do you see on the side where it has this uh, settings button? You're going to click on that. Go to manage. Browse local files. Oh, and I forgot. This is where it does that. Okay. So you're going to open up the BethanX. You're going to open up the plugins. And it should. Computer interface right here. This is your computer interface. You see, this is where all the computer interfaces are. And this is how it's messed up. It's, that's why it's messed up. All you're going to do is just click on that. Delete it. And it's gone. You need this. Uh, you need these two. Uh, you need um, all these to actually run um, Mark. But the computer interface... Um, when you do the computer interface, it's when you open up Monkey Mod Manager. And you see, we had to do computer interface to run it. We could have, if we did that, you see, we could have done it. But computer interface, it runs a lot smoother. You can just delete it after. Trust me, it's going to run a lot better. You're going to want to do that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please join my Discord server and um, type in questions channel. I'll answer them probably in the next 10 minutes. See you guys next time.